Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Let you all catch up. Make sure you can see me and hear me. Always a good, always a good thing to do. Hello, everyone in chat. Derry, Trevor, David, Dom, Mark, uh, Schnibbler, Sputz, Sarah, Gareth. We're all in here. We're all in here. Busy, busy Friday night. Little. Little live sesh, been uh, teasing going live for quite a while. Hello, can everyone hear me and all that good stuff? Someone just say in chat that you can hear me and see me, and uh, it's all in sync and all that. <laughs> Sorry that I didn't start half past eight like um, I said I would. Um, um, I just need a bit more time to prep, really. Um, as usual, um, as usual, the uh, I'm <laughs> I'm looking after the kids alone. So if one of them cries, what I will do is I'll just very quickly do this, like that, um, <laughs> and uh, sort them out. It shouldn't it should only take a second. Um, hopefully they they won't wake up. They shouldn't wake up. They're shattered. So all good. Um, so yeah, so yeah. So sorry I didn't start half eight. I just needed a little more time. I'm still opening vape mail now. Got lots, lots, and lots to show you, and all that good stuff as well. Um, Daly's in there as well. James is in there. Steve's in. What is everyone put in chat if you can? Uh, what are you vaping? What are you vaping and what are you drinking? Let me know in chat. Is it me or I just don't understand why they don't put grooves in these boxes to make them easier to get open? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Ah, let me in. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. So, what am I? What am I vaping this evening? I am vaping on this. This is the E mask from V Zone. This is an old mod, but on top I have the new Glass updated Glass RDA. Yes, it is big. It is a thirty-one millimeter RDA. Um, vaping on this. Um, it's glass and it comes with all the glass barrels and stuff that it had before glass top caps but now it comes with a, a stainless steel one as well if you want it to um, so that's pretty cool and as a result it has different airflow as well they fixed the squonking issue from the original one as well um, so I'm vaping on that and I'm vaping on this as well this is this one mixed with um, a random strawberry juice so it's a bit of a strawberry custard type thing going on that was from justadnick.co.uk Sorry about this um, noise. <laughs> uh, the noise of things opening. Um, just opening something that I'll show you in a bit. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm vaping. What are you guys on? Daily's on the Gear RTA. Homebrew grape juice. Rose, James is on the Rose 3. And the Jack Vapor DNA. Sputz classing it up with the Dwarf on the 101. Nice little regulated low wattage banger. Steve Woods on Hard Candy by Buckshot. I don't know that one. Palm 75. That's Dom. Graham's on the Rose 3 as well. Fair play. It's quality vape. It's quality vape. I'm not sure about that airflow control, but it's a quality vape. <laughs> Sarah's on Fluffy Nuts, apparently. Uh, I asked what you were vaping on, Sarah, to be fair. So yeah, so yeah, I will get to I'll get to this. I happen to be vaping it, but I'll get to it as we go round all the new stuff. Uh, oh, drinking on in my just had Nick mug. Drinking black current, black current. Uh, ideal home show last night, so drinking last night. Wife's out, so I thought I'll have a night off the old uh, alcohol. So I'm not drinking tonight, I'm afraid. Um, sorry if anyone <laughs> wanted me to be. Um, Stephen James is on the Squid V3 and the Wasp Nano RTA, a solid, solid combo for sure. Uh, Trev's on a whiskey. Woo. Fair play, fair play. Uh, I can't drink whiskey myself. I can't. Uh, I can't. I'm just not a whiskey person at all. Can't do it. 
I like some, you know, I like some spirits, but just, uh, no, nope, not a whiskey dude. Daily's on the flavour RDA with this one. Very nice, very nice. So we're all on good stuff. Ooh, someone's on the SVBF. David Child's on the SVBF quality, quality device. Okay, so first of all, um, I'll chat and keep ch and keep checking on chat all the way through. Well, so it won't be too super structured. Um, first of all, sorry, there's been no videos this week. Um, loads going on, loads going on here. Um, some stuff I can talk about, some stuff I can't talk about. Um, I did the two Inokin devices, and then I had a couple of things to do, but just didn't get a chance to film. It's been really busy in my day job. Uh, that's one thing. I've been messing with the new camera as well, uh, the 80D. Um, got some new lenses for that, so I had to sort of get used to those. Uh, that's a heavy camera. Got this lens as well. It's not a small lens either. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I had to get used to some camera stuff, so I had some camera work to do, um, and all that good stuff. And also, 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 I've been... Uh, Alright, I'm not going to bore you with this, but um, I'm also changing my uh, video edit editing software. I'm actually learning a new um, software. I love the one I use now, but it's actually not widely used in the video making world. <laughs> it's not like used professionally or anything like that, so... You know, I want my things that I'm learning from doing YouTube and my skills that I'm picking up and stuff, I want them to be portable, just for my own personal development and progression, stuff like that. So I'm switching to a, a video editing software tool that is actually used in the video editing profession. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so that's um, that's some of the things I've been doing. Also... Also just working out some changes and some tweaks as well. With the new camera comes a completely different format for how I'm doing it, which lenses for which bits, how I'm adjusting the down low bit, and all that, all that sort of stuff. So loads of sort of thing. If the, the trouble with churning out review after review is you never actually get a chance to take a step back and improve things, fix things, change things. Uh, and if you try and change on the, on the move, you end up with really shoddy videos like my profile RTA thing where... I literally didn't have time to do another wicking job, and I did a really bad wicking job on that video and and got crucified for it. Um, so, yeah, took a little step back to do those things. So we're live now, so this Friday. Um, so there will be a review up on Sunday, and we'll get into what's new and w what that will be uh, as we go along. Uh, so I'll review Sunday, and then back to normal next week. Um, another thing I've been working on is... Um, is... Uh, now... Don't get too excited. I mean, I don't know if you get excited anyway, but don't get too excited. But I have been working on uh, a new saver, a, a saver DTL. Um, and it doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> um, so I'm in really early stages uh, with the saver DTL. Um, they've just sent me a first prototype, which is miles off what it's supposed to be. Um, so I've sent a full list of everything that needs changing. If they agree to do all that and they do all that and they send me a prototype, um, then maybe a, a saver DTL will happen, um, but maybe not. Uh, maybe not. It's it's really, really too early to say, but I have been working on that as well. Um, so, yeah, so there's a maybe, a maybe, a maybe saver DTL in the works. Um, obviously, the first one was an MTL. It did have that detail ability, but essentially it was a mouth to lung tank. Um, yeah, so I'm working on a detail one. I don't know if it's definitely happening. Um, 3C Vape, who made the first one, they kind of merged with Coil Art. Coil Art kind of consumed them kind of thing. Um, so there will never be another run of the original saver. Um, they're still out there. You can still get them if you're... In North America, you can go to Hayestown Vapes. If you're uh, in the UK, I think Spa Vapes still have a few. But when they're gone, they're gone. Um, there were 7,000 made, I think. And uh, they're around. They're around. You can get your hands on one if you really want. Um, but um, there won't be any more. Whereas when they're gone, they're gone. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it went. And 3C Vape were really happy with how it all went. But they couldn't make any more because they'd merged with Coil Art and been consumed by Coil Art. Now, the senior team, after 
a few, quite a good few months of working with Coilout and that, they've kind of broken away now and formed another new company, and I can't reveal their name or what the other products they've got coming out, um, but they contacted me to possibly bring the Saver back as a new tank, uh, a Saver DTL, um, so, and I've been talking to them, and it's not definitely happening or anything like that, um, but it's possibly happening, it's possibly happening. Um, you, yeah, so okay, so what the saver detail will be if it happens, if um, even right until the last three weeks, the, the saver mouth along was this close to not happening all the time. Uh, so you know, don't get too excited. That's why I kept it so quiet for so long. Um, and I'm not doing. I'm being a bit a bit more open this time. But I want to explain why I've I've not been around. Um, so yeah. So uh, what was I saying? <laughs> so. How will it? How what will it be like, and how will it vape and stuff? Okay, so I can't I can't say everything right now, but it will be um, an area cloudier saver tank. It'll have a very similar style deck, very similar style airflow system ish, um, and but it will just be capable of wicking faster and therefore vaping higher with more airflow. Um, so, but not crazy, not crazy. It'd be DTL, but it won't be. 60 70 80 90 it'll be much more in my range you know 20 to 50 probably the sweet spot um yeah so so that's that um so it's it's absolutely miles off it's miles off so they've sent me uh, a very early version based on my original um <laughs> discussions with them and there's about 10 things that need to change and if i they're not super in agreement with some of those, so we don't know if they'll happen, and, and they'll all have to happen for me to agree to do it. So it might not happen. It might not happen. Um, and even then, it might, still might not happen, commercial reasons and things like that. So Because they're, they're already much further down the line with a couple of other people that they're making stuff with and all that sort of stuff. And... Um, so and yeah, so I can't say I can't say what who they are, who they're going to be, anything like that. I do know all that, obviously, but yeah, um, capacity and things like that are still being sorted out. Obviously, you've got the whole TPD thing. It should have bigger capacity than the last one, or at least some way of being uh, being bigger. Um, so yeah, so there's there's a long way to go with that, but that's that's kind of a thing. That's kind of a thing. So yeah, really taking stock, you know, changing all my setup has been a, a lot bigger heartache than I thought it would be. Um, the new software is insane, um, and so yeah, so there's been a lot going on, um, plus all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's been that's been a bit crazy. Um, yeah, so that's 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 all a thing. Um, so let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. I just need to check one thing. Cool. Right. Good. So that's that. That's that. So I'll keep you posted on that. This time round, I'll keep you posted. But it may not happen. So, you know, <laughs> I can't stress that. Can't stress that enough. No, it won't be a napkin ring thing, and it won't come out like a year later, <laughs> like this one did. Um, I'll talk about that in a sec. But um, oh, here we go. Hold on. told you <laughs> okay cool sorry my bad um so yes so yeah we're still working on the capacity thing and the tpd thing so yes a long way long way to go we'll see we'll see but i'll try and keep this time i'll try and keep you posted as we go along um with it it's all uh, so that is that speaking of the saver and all that i will say this 
Uh, the bubble tanks are now available in the UK from justadnick.co.uk. Um, they're listed as napkin rings for obvious reasons, and they are very excellent napkin rings. Um, but they, they also do up the capacity to 4 mil if you accidentally put one on your saver. So go to Just Add Nick if you have a saver and you want it to be a bigger capacity. Um, so yeah, I've got mine on here. So there we go. So that is that. Very happy with that. Um, Bearded Viking Customs are the people that have made it. Um, John at Just Add Nick managed to get um, some over and they're available now. So check those out. They're in the atomizer section on just Um Oh, Saver RDA. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, so all that is a thing. So what else do I need to say before we get into showing new stuff? There is one thing I want. I want to sort of um, say. Um, you may have noticed if you saw the slide, the slide video. Um, I have a new channel sponsor. Um, they are called No Vape. K N O W Vape.com. No Vape.com. It is a new uh, vaping community website. I'm a big fan of these things. Um, I, what, none of them have massively taken off yet, in my opinion, but I think this one has the potential to. Um, basically, you go to No Vape.com and you put in a vape item that you're interested in or that you have and it comes up with a full profile of that item, you can then submit a review, a personal user review yourself of that item. And the idea being is, oh, I'm quite interested in the Saver RTA. Go into Novate, Saver RTA, it comes up, it tells you all the stats of it, and then it has actual personal feedback. Oh, this is rubbish, it's only two mil capacity, I can't get it to wick, you know, or, or it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. And it's like a community-based website, so um, Novape, Dot com. I'll be talking about them more in the future, but they are my new channel sponsor. Um, I will remember to put links in the description, but check them out. I think it's really cool. They've made it really slick to submit a review, really slick to register if you want to register, and really slick to just pop on, type in an item, and it pops straight up. And I really like the way they've done it. I think they're really cool. Um, I also really like that they're fully independent and few fully community focused there's no sale aspect on the site um you know there's there's no sort of thing like that so they're not in cahoots with any company they're an independent outfit and and as a result you know it's it's a nice one for me to get behind because it means I don't have to compromise any of my opinions on anything or anything like that and and I'm going to personally start submitting user reviews myself for the things I like I think um just you know, just say, just the, like for example, I'm going to pop on and do a Crown V4 because I'm still loving that sub tank, so I'm going to pop on and do that. But anyway, so that's that. That's the the no no vape dot com. Uh, I'll talk about more about them as we go along. Um, and but you will see little things popping up on my videos and links in the description to no vape. So uh, do check them out. I think it's cool. Um, the one issue with reviewing is it's just my opinion, and also time constraints and amount of stuff means quite often I will do a review after two weeks of having something, but how, how did I get on with that item a month down the line? And just because I had good coil heads with my sub-tank, does that mean everyone else did? Is there some bunk ones out there, or are they a 50% hit rate? If you go on a site like that, and it's got all the user feedback, you get a much fuller picture, you know, of what of what it was like. So I think the community sites, I've always pushed community sites like that, because I think they really have a place. I think they really have a place. I think you, there's no truer testament of a vaping item if six months later people are still buying it, people still using it, people still like it. You know, so I think that's, um, you know, a very shrewd vapor is someone that actually gets something after the hype, you know. So, um, no, this video is not recorded fawn <laughs> dimmy dill, dill me balls, fawn dill me balls. It's not. It's not uh, recorded. Um, so yes, um, that's the thing. That's the thing. Check it out. Uh, Rob Wiggles says user reviews are a nice way to find out if a mod has a short life. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, get a clearer miser in. I might just get lucky. My coil heads might be great, but then when they do the mass production run, they might have done a mistake on the coils or something. So 
it's, it's, it's I'm just one vapor. I'm just one. Vapor. That's what I've always said. I was see. I never get into too many technical details with a review because I always see it as a video version of like an Amazon review. You know, you go on Amazon, find a DVD or something, and someone says, "Oh, it's rubbish." <laughs> I just see, I see these. This is no different to that, really. It's just one vapor's opinion on an item. Uh, it's not an actual any kind of official. This is brilliant, is it really? Um, so yeah, so that's that's a thing. That's a thing. That's they're the new sponsor, and um, I'm I'm really impressed with them, and that's why I have joined up with them. So check them out. Um, I'll talk about more about them. I'll talk about them on the Facebook group a bit as well. I'm gonna start doing videos on the Facebook group, um, little interacty, livey things on the Facebook group. Um, completely infrequent, like ten minute things. Um, to catch up with everyone and talk about things like this. So there we go. That's that. That's that. You want to see some new stuff? <laughs> I've waffled on. I have waffled on. Let's uh, show you some new stuff. Some really good new stuff. Um, like literally just all at the start of this week, just flooded in. Crazy. Apart from Steam Crave stuff, the Steam Crave stuff actually. Uh, I got I got last Friday, I think. Um, right, speaking of which, let's just get straight into that. So, Steam Crave. Steam Crave, okay? I've not actually done stuff with them before, but I'm, I really like the look of the new RTA they've got coming out in the future. So, um, yeah, so now I'm reviewing Steam Crave, Steam Crave stuff. This is their uh, the new Glass RTA V2. Um, and it's got a glass chimney. You can see my coils through there. And uh, hence the name. So what they've done is again, it's a huge device. It's like 31 millimeters wide, massive airflow, massive deck. Uh, you can see through into it. Uh, you've got your top fill as well. It's, I've cleaned it all down, ready for review. This is this is probably next. This is probably on Sunday. Um, big airflow, all that stuff. They've made some very nice fixes and improvements to this tank, um, but they've kept the essence of it very much the same. So if you're a fan of it before, but there were some niggles. Then uh, maybe maybe want to check out um, really interesting vape on this really interesting vape very nice very nice some very nice aspects to this there's a few talking points as well and 31 mil wide there's not a lot of mods that fit this there ain't not a lot of mods that fit this um, so that's a thing as well but if you if you look like it comes with a bubble tank that I think takes up to nine mil or ten mil capacity unbelievable. Unbelievable capacity available. Um, so if you're, you know, super cloudy, big mod person, then uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. Okay. Um, so that is that's the first thing that's probably next. But after that, I can't guarantee what order things will come. It's all about when I'm comfortable with the item. Because obviously you've, you've seen my videos. The, the second half of the video is just me talking for six, seven, eight minutes straight about that item, and I have to be comfortable enough with that item to be able to do that. Um, so yes, so there we go. So that is that. Yeah. So uh, I think it's Mr. Hark. Mr. Hark. Um, all that glass, I would break it. That's one of the improvements they've made actually um, with this tank from the previous one. That the previous one. Uh, yeah, it was more fragile, but they've been quite clever the way they've they've structured this. Um, and there's more metal in the right places, and it's now got like a skeleton to it as well. Um, yeah, interesting, very interesting. Um, so that's next. That's next. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting times. That's next. That's next. Okay. Um, <laughs> Paul McCartney, vape dust smoke in the house. Hello, mate. You're right. Um, next thing. Next thing. Well, while I'm doing the Steve Grave, I might as well talk about this. So, as I've said, Glass RDA version 1.1, updated version of the Glass RDA. Again, a big whopping 31mm thing. Huge deck. It's the same deck as the Glass RTA. Makes sense. Um, big goon tips. Big airflow. Now, of it, now comes with stainless top cap if you want it to. And the top cap has a completely different airflow system which has its benefits and its negatives as well, I've got to say. Um, pretty cool deck, kind of like um, a different take on a dead rabbit kind of deck, but I think the original might have come before it, I don't know. But it's that similar sort of style, you're dropping your coils on top, um, and then the wicking has quite a lot of work to do. 
um, down. Um, there are some... This is a real mixed bag of an item. I'm quite enjoying it, but there are some very noticeable things with it. Um, another thing they fixed on this from the V1 is the squonking. Um, it had a squonking issue with the, the first one. It was very, very easy, very, very easy to over squonk it. They've kind of fixed that this time. Not really my style of egg, but I, but I'm more than happy to review that. I think it's pretty interesting. So the glass 1.1 updated RDA um, still comes with a big glass tank if that's what you want. <laughs> um, but um, stainless steel cap as well. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, so that is that. Um, also got this. This literally came today. This literally came today. This is the Umie. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Umie. 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 Gosh, it's probably not Umie. That's just my campness coming out. Um, but this is the Umie Armadillo RDA. Umie Armadillo RDA. What a mouthful that is. Um, it is designed, co designed uh, by Umie and uh, Dimmy. Crazy Damper, Dimmy Crazy Damper, who is a European reviewer. Uh, nice guy, nice guy. I've been talking to him about this uh, for a couple of weeks now, actually. Um, and yeah, it's an, it's an RDA. It comes with a squonk pin and all that, 24 mil and all that. Um, it's interesting. It's like kind of a media blastery satiny finish on the stainless one. Um, adjustable airflow, dual slots. Um, I think the armadillo bit is kind of the deck has a very interesting deck um, so it's got three holes on one side three holes in the other obviously dual coil and it's uh, and that's an, an interesting way of doing things it is an interesting deck pretty smooth airflow pretty tasty squonks So yeah, so the deck looks like that. It's kind of a big arc with six holes in it on both sides. So you've got different holes for your coils. Very pretty easy, pretty easy to mount. There's a bit of a debate as to which holes you're meant to use because obviously it's got six holes, but you only need four. <laughs> so that's the thing. We'll talk about that when we build it on the video, but uh, pretty good. Pretty nice vape so far. Um, again, there's a few things that have a few things that I'll I'll, I'll cover when I, I, I review it. But uh, got to say, pretty solid RDA. Um, I don't think it's mind-blowingly different. It's an interesting deck. But I don't think it's mind-blowingly different, um, but very solid, very solid all the same. So that's coming up as well. Armadillo, glass, glass, armadillo. Oh, got this as well. Uh, this is the Mido pod. This is Galissi's. The battery people, the charger people, Glissy, Glissy, why can't I say any words? Um, this is their first e-cig, the charger battery people. These guys. These guys. Yeah, they're now making e-cigs, kind of. Well, their e-cig making brand is Mido. you got to make sure you say that right, haven't you? Mido. And uh, yeah, this is a little pod system by them. Their first thing. It's very interesting coming from the battery and charger world into the making E6 world. You'd like to think they carry with them some real qualities. Like uh, when you're making batteries and chargers, they've got to be right, haven't they? <laughs> they have got to be right or you've got big trouble on your hands. So I'd like to think build quality and quality control is going to be absolutely on point with these guys. And it's pretty solid mouth to lung actually for a pod. A lot of these pods aren't properly mouth to lung, but this one is, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is a thing. That is a thing. So the Mido pod. I did tell them a long time ago um, that I would, I would do a video <laughs> for it um, before it, before I even saw it. So I will. I'm going to do a little quick look of that um, and break it down and show it you and all that good stuff. Um, so the Mido pod. The Mido pod. Is um is is a thing that I'm going to do, 
and it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting when you get a new manufacturer in the Vape game. Um, yeah, and I should say that it will be a quick look, not a review, because Galici used to sponsor the channel. I make that clear. I make that clear. So it will be a quick look. I will talk about what I like and don't like about it, but it won't be a proper review. You'll have to make your own minds up, but you'll get a good look at it. You'll know what you you, you think after that. Um, presentation and stuff is absolutely on point, I've got to say. Um, but I'll, we'll get there when we get there in the video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ali in the house. Davey's in as well. Crimpy. Crimpy's in. And uh, yeah, good times. Good times. Um, so yeah, so that's another thing. That's another thing. Um, got something new as well from those crazy guys at E-Leaf. Um, this again is hot off the press. Hot off the press. This is the new eye stick. This is the eye stick. Oh, I don't want to go that high that fast. Let's go. I do like I do like these mods where uh, what happened there? I do like these mods where uh, <laughs> where uh, they don't go up in point one of a what? <laughs> I do like that. Uh, so this is the iStick mix. This is the iStick mix. Uh, dual eighteen six hundred and two hundred watt. Um, it's got one of these lovely sort of resin resiny panels. Um, obviously, that's where your uh, battery door is. Very nice, very compact, very very nice in the hand. What's the tank called? No, it should be an LO of some description, shouldn't it? It's a much better looking than some of the stuff they've done. LO Pop, it's called. LO Pop. <laughs> uh, and it's a very nice tank, very cool top fill system on it. The ice stick mix is uh, is the new ice stick. Why is it gone to is that some sort of inbuilt safety thing? Big fan of LO tanks overall, but they did some absolute mingers. They did some mingers. I mean, they vaped okay, but they looked crazy. This is a return to form, looks wise, on the LO tank for sure. Uh, and I think the mod's pretty doody too. It's kind of in line with quite a few other mods that have come out of recent times. The other side looks like that. Oh, USB Type C. USB Type C, just noticed that. Um, shows that shows that I don't charge on, on board, um, but yes. So new tank from them, new coils. They've got that fancy air coming out of the middle thing to avoid leaking. Um, pretty cool. It's the same. It looks to be the exact same LO coil. So if you've got loads of LO coils already, or if you're a vape shop owner and you've got loads, uh, then uh, happy days on that score. It's the HWM2. I think that's so. I think those ones cross-compatible among other LO tanks. I think it's pretty doody. I think it's pretty doody. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got a couple of tricks as well. It's got a couple of tricks that I'll save. Um, Fawn says, lots of 200 watt mods now with 18650 chipset make happen. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. Uh, Mick says does Kanga still exist <laughs> yeah they do they do I think Kanga and Aspire from what I understand because I never ask companies to send me things I never do that um, I don't know why I just don't I don't I, I get enough stuff and I don't want too much stuff and all that so I never ask companies for stuff to review it just comes or they contact me I believe Aspire and Kanga, I think their system for these things is you have to ask them for something to review and then on a product by product basis. I, I believe that's how they work. So um, a, a lot of reviewers don't tend to cover Aspire and Kanga stuff as a result. Um, and I think, so I think Kanga are still very much going and alive. It's just that I don't think they're getting enough YouTube time um, as a result of that. But I believe, yeah, I believe Kanga is still still a thing, from what I understand. And, uh, yeah, I think they've got a similar setup to Aspire, where you've got to ask, you know, you've got to ask for them the stuff, and I don't know. I don't do that. 
Um, so I believe, yes, I very much can still going, I believe. They, I think they, they're more in the, the pod world, the starter kit world, I think, as well now. A lot of com- a lot of companies have made a conscious effort this year to try and approach the mainstream. And by that, I don't mean, I mean not vape shops. I mean convenience stores, petrol stations, supermarkets. I think they all seem to be trying to open the bigger avenues up. Um, that's what I understand anyway. But... Uh, yeah, so maybe Kanger have moved away from the hobbyist scene a bit um, as well. That might be a factor. Um, yeah, and I'm not having a go at anyone that does request review items from companies. That's perfectly understandable. It's a very competitive market now, you know. There's a lot of people doing vape reviews, and you've got to do what you've got to do. Is what it is. Um, so there we go. So that is that. Um, I've still got more things to show you. The next one is pretty interesting. I've, this is really interesting, actually. Um, this is Wismec's new thing. A squonker. A squonker. This is the, the Wismec Surface. The Wismec Surface. And it's a 18650 regulated squonker. Obviously, a range of door patterns available. Some wobble in the desk. Um, obviously, a range of door patterns available. Little squonk bottle down here. Regulated. One, two, three, four, five. Got your little board on there. And it comes with this Atty. Now, this Atty is a bottom feeding RDTA, but but it has the, the, the sort of blade things. You know, not coils like the... You know, like the blades, the 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 heating elements that aren't uh, that that aren't coils. I've I've never seen any. I've never seen this uh, before. I've seen this heating mechanism before. Joytech have done several things like this, um, but I've never seen it done in an RDTA for squonking before. I don't think so. Very interesting tank. And obviously, because it's now DTA, you've got your cotton there. Look inside the tank, and you fill the tanks, fill the squonk the bottle, and there. But you can fill the tank as well. You can drip straight down onto these as well. Uh, you can fill the tank section up there, and and squonk. You can refill the tank by squonking. Hi, Bernie. Welcome to the vlog. Um. Yeah, so this is, I think this is mega interesting. Um, these heating elements. Hmm. Well, yeah. Some people are really enjoying them, but I've never had one that was as good as a coil. Interesting thing with this one is actually a jewel. Can you see this too? That's interesting as well, and I think that does change things a bit. I'm interested. I'm really, I'm really, yeah. Um, this is an interesting vape item, you know. I'm a yeah. It's a bit noisy when you cut that airflow down. So yeah, more testing required on that. But that's an interesting thing. And don't forget, even if you're not sold on those heating elements and RD, squonky RDTAs, and you're not into all that, you've still got yourself quite an interesting. Single X eighteen six fifty regulated squonker on your hands here, so that is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so there we go. What what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Are we? Uh, is that inter Is that interesting? Does that whet your appetite? Are you, are you interested about that one? Um, let me know. Let me know. Let me know below. Um, yes, yeah, it does kind. Of, it does kind of look like an eighties party party shirt. <laughs> they do some crazy. I'll be interested to see what the. Um, I don't think they've released the product on their website yet, so I haven't seen what the other colours look like. Um, be interesting to see. I don't know why when they're doing these. How do I put it? Out there designs. I don't know why they don't just do one plain one as well. How hard would it be to do one plain one if that was just stainless steel or grey or just black like the rest of it? 
just do a normal boring one for boring people like me, as well as some funky ones. But uh, yes, yeah, so I haven't seen what the other patterns look like. Um, swamp squonk mics in the house. Um, yeah, so let me know if you're interested by that. Are you still squonking? It was interesting seeing what you were vaping. Only half of you were squonking. Uh, are, are you all still squonking, or are you all squonking half of the time now, or have you given up squonking? You know, is 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 are we still very much in squonkageddon? Let me know in the comments. I'm still still squonking, still squonking. Uh, let me know. It's definitely not been as insane squonky the start of this year as it has been in 2018, whereas a squonker came out every week. Uh, I mean, how many, they were like four or five versions of the Pulse, weren't they? Um, so, I mean, that's a, there, was, there was that, there was uh, three Dovpo squonkers, the Bassium, the Topside, Topside Jewel. I, uh, Wismek did a couple of Luxotic squonkers as well, so there was like 20, 20 mainstream squonkers in 2018 in the second half. Uh, so let's have a look. So Mart squonks now and then. Steve is a hundred percent squonk. Andy's ninety five percent squonking. I love a I love a I love a percentage answer. Uh, Dom's full time squonking. Eighty seven point five percent squonker. Mick, that's very specific. Uh, Derry's half and half. So you're you're all still squonking mainly. There's a few. Uh, David Cox hates it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I never thought it was the the end of all of the vape styles. I mean, I would say the things we've seen this year are pod systems, starter kits and all that, AIOs, whatever, but also quite a few RTAs. I think RTAs are on the way back. I know in Ideal Home Show circles and UK squonkers and all that, mouth to lungs really taking off. A lot of people are back on the, the low wattage tanks and the little battery, 18350 batteries and all that. Um... So I know a lot of people have gone back to RTAs and squonking, but uh, Leon, 0% squonking. Uh, Crimpy's 15% squonking. Uh, Scotty Bogfoot in the house, still squonking, although I find it has lost a bit of its charm. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. So my daily squonk driver is this. You know I love my goons, my OG 22 mil goons. So goon on top and the bassium. The Bassium is my main squonker. It's kind of like just it's just here, all the time I'm working. You know, I do about three hours, three hours a night in here, um, and uh, and it's just there every night. It's just there, and I love rebuilding the goon, and that's five minute job. And yeah, and I'm away. Fifty fifty. Quite a few of you seem to be fifty fifty. Um, yeah. So. So yeah, that's my. So I am still squonking a lot. I tell you what, this um, blocks pump squonker. Um, I, I use this a lot. What, even way after the review, I carried on using this. The capacity is just to die for. It's just such a no nonsense device as well. I would like to see a regulated version. Um, I would. Uh, I would like to see a normal squonky version as well. That's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, so this got a lot of use. The RDA is solid as well. I, I've always liked this Nunchaku RDA. I think it's solid RDA. Um, so this, so this and the Bassium have been my main squonkers this year. Um, but yeah, I love the Bassium. I just love that battery life, simplicity, and it's just so sturdy, so easy to fill up as well. Uh, all that. So yeah, still very much squonking, but not all the time. Obviously, not all the time because I've got a got to test all this stuff. And I'll tell you what else is getting still gets a lot of use a lot. And I don't talk about it because oh video, 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 video. But I'm still using this scrape a lot as well. The um the latest scrape. I'm still using that a lot. That's again nice big capacity, easy to refill, and that so that just gets a lot of banging. Bang, bang, bang. So that's that. So uh, so so yeah, so a lot of you are squonking still, a lot of you are squonking still, but maybe, like Scotty says, a little bit of the charm. A little bit of the charm has gone, and you're sort of back to dabbling with various things. I do still like, and I never stopped liking, dripping, you know? A lot of people seem to be now either tank or squonking, and never dripping. I still like a drip. I still like a drip. 
Um, especially sort of just watching telly and stuff, you know? I kind of like having something to fiddle with. That's what she said. So, yeah, so a mixed bag. So, so I think it's fallen into its natural levels now, squonking. All the hype's gone. Everyone's not squonking all the time. Um, I think it's fallen into its natural natural place now. Ali's on the RTAs, 12% squonk. Uh, very cool. Fair enough. Well, hopefully then, hopefully then you guys will be interested enough to, to, uh, to watch this if you're all still squonking. Um, I've got to say, very nice size, very nice size. The battery, can I show you inside? Oh, so the battery, there you go, 18650. I mean, that shows you the size. It's, it's only tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger than an 18650. The squonk bottle's not very really big, but you've got that capacity in there as well. Um, you've got your board in here. It's a good size. It's a very, very good size for a regulated 18650. The doors, the magnets on the doors are really good, but as a result, it takes a couple of go <laughs> it takes a couple of goes to get the door on right. What am I doing wrong? Uh, this is going in the blooper reel. There we go. It's nice and flush when it's on, and there's no way it's coming off when it's on. But uh, yeah, just getting it snug because the battery's so good, the, the magnet's so good. Uh, it's it's fun. It's good fun. Uh, yes, yeah, so I still still like my dripping, but I'm guessing like from what I see, not a lot of people are dripping. Another thing I'm I'm dripping with a lot when I am dripping, I keep saying dripping, 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 dripping uh, is still the uh, drop dead dead rabbit and the dreamer. Still, I still love the the authenticity, you know, of just a, a nice drip on a tube. As, uh, yeah, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting comments about the door, um, but don't forget, knowing Wizmate, there'll be several different door designs out there. Derry says, if I'm out for a day squonking, as it mean, yeah, if I'm out for the day, I'm squonking because it means no filling up and all that faff. I think that's really good. I think that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Um, just to recap on some stuff, recap on the last two videos. We've got the the beep. We've got the we've got the beep. Uh, I did make a mistake in that video. Um, if you saw that video, you probably saw if you saw it in the comments or whatever. But um, I got the the power modes the wrong way round. So the blue is the coolest blue cold. So that's like your twelve watt. And then the green is the medium. That I'm on green now. That's the medium. That's fourteen watt. And the red, red, is the hottest, 16 watts. So there you go. So I actually, I got it the other way around or something. Um, so, but I'm on green, so that's why I wasn't, <laughs> I'm on the middle one. So that's why I wasn't really differentiating those. I think, um, we sort of talked about this in my Facebook group. Um, as always, there'll be a link to my Facebook group in the description if you want to get involved and all that sort of stuff, um, then feel free to join the Facebook group. It's a, a lovely place, lovely people. Um, we sort of talked about in the group about what would you recommend as a pre-built coil mouth-to-lung thing? What, you know, what would be... What, what would you recommend? What would you recommend for a pre-built mouth-to-lung system? And it's really tricky because there's such a variety of mouth to lung clearomizers, but none of them are like massive standout, I don't think, anymore. Um, but but the beep is up there, I think. I think the beep would be in consideration. It is a genuine mouth to lung device, which is interesting because, like I said, with the slide that I also reviewed, like I said with the slide, this is, is looser, it's way looser than the beep. I can I can go full with it. Whereas this, you know, it's the same coil. It's the same coil, but it's quite a different vape experience. This one is much more authentic mouth to lung, in my opinion. I think it's just the where the airflow is slightly different, and the fact it has more of a path to go down. Um, so that's the thing. Christian P in the house. Uh, so here's one for you to. 
put your mind on. Now it seems mouth to lung is all the rage. But does that mean vapors have increased their nicotine to get that throat hit? I started vaping nearly six years ago. And I started vaping nearly six years ago and wouldn't increase my nick as I've lowered it. And I made up, I make up my mind around 1mg. But yeah, this mouth to lung hit that's going to going on is boggling me okay so i don't know i don't know if everyone's up in their nick from mouth to lung i do i do i um direct a lung at 3 mg and a mouth to lung at 6 mg or in the case of this is actually a 20 mg nick nick salt in here uh, so i've got a 20 mg nick salt in here what i would say about that is i don't know what i don't know what most people are doing um I wouldn't. Be, I, I wouldn't be if I was you, Kristen. I wouldn't be afraid of upping your nicotine. Now, if you have a 10 mg juice at 15 watts, that's the same in terms of the amount of nicotine you're going to get as a 5 mg at 30 watts and a 2.5 mg at 60 watts. So. I don't think mouth to lungers are getting more nicotine, even though the nicotine in their device is higher. I think the the delivery is just different, you know. So, and, and nicotine is nothing to be scared of. I know we've got this thing that we've always associated nicotine with cigarettes. Nicotine, cigarettes, nicotine, cigarette. Cigarettes kill you. So nicotine kills you. But it's not the case. Nicotine is nothing to really be scared of. It uh, nicotine is very very similar chemically um, in terms of potency and addiction level as caffeine as caffeine really and would you really worry about one extra cup of, cup of coffee i don't i wouldn't i love it <laughs> coffee 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 <laughs> um so yeah so i would i would if you want to give the mouth lung a proper try i would up your nick i would up your nick um and have no worry about it and i, I always say it's the biggest psychological change i know you've, you've been vaping ages you know what you're on about and all that but it's, it's, a, it's a good talking point it's a really great comment um I would say the hardest thing for a smoker when they convert to vaping is no is not the hardest but one of the hardest things is disassociating that they're no longer doing a bad thing so you get someone who's gone from cigarettes to an e-cig and they're still in the mindset that oh i'll just have a couple of toots i'll just have a couple of drags on it because it's bad you know like i'll just have one cigarette this afternoon because that's bad um and i think what actually you need to do is vape your fucking face off when you, if you're switching from smoking to an e-cig you need to vape your face off until you're a bit lightheaded um just get that nicotine in your body it stops the cravings you're no longer doing a bad thing you can vape as much as you like just go for it fill your boots fill your boots um you're you're already addicted because you're already addicted to nicotine because you smoked so just fill your boots get your vape down you and vape 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 and and that's a really hard psychological change you know from something you were really you know smokers have a lot of inbuilt anxiety you know um because all the time they were smoking they were knowing they shouldn't have been doing that but they wanted to so they did so yeah so that's my thing my advice would be if you really want to give the mouth a long thing a go up your nick up your nick um there's absolutely no shame in having a higher nicotine i've got a friend who a lot of people you know called john uh who's he's been vaping six seven eight years and he's still on 12 mg still on 12 mg he hasn't stepped down at all he has no issue with nicotine um he doesn't want to burn through loads of juice he doesn't want to blow massive clouds he just wants the nicotine level that he likes and he's you know he has no no health issues with that at all you know there is no ill health issues with that so not fill your boots up your nick give them out a long in a go see how you can get on um i still like the 20 to 50 watt vape you know so i'm usually on 3mg um i've been on 3mg for years and years um no plans to go down to zero or anything like that um i'm just i'm i'm, I'm happy where i'm at if i'm after long in i'm on a nick salt or maybe six or 8 mg uh, with a, a lower wattage device i think it's the right thing to do i think you know if you if you stay at a really low nick level and mouth to lung i think you'll just find yourself getting frustrated that you're not getting your your you're not getting your fill if you like um that's what i, I would say steve bellamy in chat 
3MG for direct to lung, 6MG for mouth to lung, spot on. Spot on, 6 and 12, Andrew says 6 and 12. Uh, Volker, good to see you mate. Uh, 12MG around 9 watts. Uh, 9MG in the Kofun Light around 9 watts. There you go, so there we go. You've really got to tailor it to your vape. I think that's a massive part of it. Also with mouth to lung in, I would recommend a slightly stronger juice. Um, I think you know you see certain juices like uh, slime from Vaping King, uh, lemon crack uh, from Just a Nick. You, these are really strong flavors. You can almost you can't really direct a lung with them because they're so strong. Um, so those are great juices to try with mouth to lung. So if you're going mouth to lung, change your nick level, change your flavor, change your coil type, change your airflow, change your device, change it all. Really change it up and give it a really good go. That's, that's what I would say. Uh, Dino Knight in the house. What's Dino saying? Uh, the Wiccan is really good on modern mouth to lung RTAs, so you can go higher VG liquid. That is true. That is true. My big thing at the moment with mouth to lung in is... I think all the rules of mouth to lung in have gone out of the window. I think you throw all the old rules out, out, out of the window. I see a lot of mouth to lungers who would turn their nose up at the builds that I'm putting in my mouth to lung stuff. I'm putting Claptons in there now, you know, and I, and a lot of mouth to lungers be like, that's ridiculous. You want really thin round wire. It's not true. That's not true. It's perfectly legitimate and really good. To have a nice little clapton in your mouth to lung and uh yeah you can go higher vg now if you want to and uh mouth to lung in has changed big time in my opinion um so yeah yeah fruits davy d says fruits are good for mouth to lung i agree certain things is better at certain things i think desserts can just get really murky in a mouth to lung tank just because the nature of the restriction of the airflow and it all just gungs up really quick i like a nice clean fruity vape for mouth to lung as well so yeah you've, you've really got to tailor it to what you're doing you know uh, that's the thing back to these have i got a battery in here clearly not um <laughs> this so this is the other inican thing that we did this was the slide um loads and loads of positives with this tank uh, loads and loads of positives i, I know that Zenith fans, Inikin fans are going to love this tank. Um, my one sort of warning in that review, and I still stand by it, um, I still stand by it, it's, it's, it's slightly too airy for the old school traditional mouth to lungers. So if you're a really, really staunch old school mouth to lunger, really small airflow, I think this is slightly too airy. It's kind of new new mouth to lung, you know, or loose mouth to lung. Um, and I just wanted to warn people of that because obviously it's marketed as a mouth to lung tank. So I just wanted to put that out there in my video that if you're really old school, you might find it too loose. Um, but if you're used to the Zenith, used to the Inican stuff, you will know um, how it vapes. You know, it's that style. It's almost that Phil Basado trademark style, if you like. Um, kind of loose mouth to lung, you know. Um, so put that out there, but 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 loads of positives about that tank as well. That's just a little warning for people considering it that mouth to lung. Mouth to lung's always been so subjective about airflow and stuff. But and and you'll get other reviewers telling you it's the perfect mouth to lung and um, it's the perfect restriction and all that. And and everyone is so different. Everyone's got such a different opinion on on mouth to lung. So um, yeah, I just want to put that out for me. It's a bit loose. It's a bit loose for mouth to lung, but I still like it in its own way. Put that warning out though. There's a lot of positives about that tank. Really like the look of it. Really like the new Plex 3D mesh coily thing, Z Plex coils. Um, they're really cool. Um, really like the look of it. Really like the new top fill. A lot of positives. A lot of positives about that tank as well. But uh, yeah, it's just in that style that, that Dimitri and Phil really like, but it's slightly looser than old school mouth lung. Yeah, this is definitely a return to form with the LOs. The rating on the actual coil is 40 to 90. And it's this new coil head with the air hole in the middle. I hope you know what I'm on about. Um, so quite enjoying that. 
yes, Mark Todd did. <laughs> Mark Todd did coin that phrase on an Inakin review, I think, a little while ago. Proper mouth to lung. Um, and I think he got in trouble. <laughs> I think he got in trouble for it. But I think I've, I seem to have got away with it so far. Um, on the slide, no one's really got annoyed with me about it. Um, but it totally depends how you draw, how you vape. You know, you, I've had big arguments with people about the draw on something, and then the truth is, we just vape different. Um, so. It just depends on how you draw. You some people, some people don't direct a lung properly as well. Some people take very short in and out direct to lungs as well. So everyone's just different, and it's really hard to talk about that sort of stuff. West Brom are free to up, free to up. Very nice. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about leads or promotion or anything like that. Uh, what will be will be. I've been here before. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long and painful 10 years uh, in football world, so so I'm not talking about that. Um, yes, so that's that. Is there anything else before we go that you want me to talk about or cover? Um, yes, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to talk about before I go. I've showed you the new stuff, talked about the old stuff, explained my uh, lack of videos this week, and uh, it's, all, it's all positive, it's all good stuff. Let me know if there's anything you want me to say before we go. Swamp Squonk Mike in the house. Andy Fairchild in the house. Steve Bellamy. <laughs> Any boxing coming up that I'm looking forward to? Um, yeah. Yeah, there is. I mean, there's no... There's no there's no super fights um really penciled in at the moment. All the all the big guys are dodging each other a bit. Um I, but I'm still quite interested to see how Wilder gets on with Brazil. That'll be interesting. They say Brazil's an improved fighter. Um and so that'll be interesting in its own way. I think he'll bang him out, but we'll see. Um I'm quite interested just to see how Joshua does with Miller just because Miller's so big just just because Miller's so big I, I think he'll destroy him but he's such a lump isn't he it's an interesting dynamic what is he 300 pounds crazy um yes the the, the maybe saver DTL is single coil 100% single coil very very similar deck design to the original just tweaked <laughs> tweaked for more direct to lungage um yes yes so that's that um uh what else we got some boxing tomorrow night i think fowler should have too much for flitz um who else is on price should have too much for ali but you can never bet on pricey um i think liam smith if he boxes properly, should should comfortably outbox Eggington. It's a very one-dimensional fighter, and it's nothing that uh, Liam Smith hasn't seen before. And Eggington has moved up in weight, hasn't he? To, you know, and so I would say he's not a natural light middle, whereas Liam Smith is a very big light middle. So, so there we go. Uh, I don't follow UFC at all. I don't think McGregor's retired. Because what's he going to do now? What's he going to do with himself for 50 years? I think he'll be back in some capacity fighting. But I don't just don't know what. Probably WWE or something. Yep, so that's that. What other, is there any other big fight? Oh, Khan Crawford. Oh, I dread to think. I really like Amir Khan, but I dread to think how that's going to go. Um, he's going to get... He's going to get tagged at some point, and um, he's going to he'll probably look great, and then he'll probably get tagged, and, and that'll be the end of that. Um, yeah, so that is that. Uh, a few Fury Schwartz. Uh, yeah, less said the better about that one. Although I do like I do like Tyson Fury, but yeah, less said the better about that fight. Um, quite interested in uh, Warrington. Uh, versus Kid Galahad, actually, I think that'd be an in I think that'd be an intriguing fight. Um, yeah, yeah. So that'd be interesting. So that's that's tomorrow. That's, tomorrow. that's the boxing. That's the boxing chat. We always have to throw a bit of boxing chat in. Um, uh, 
Um, so that is that. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Hull, so I feel your boxing pain, Mr. Hark. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Hull, similar similar sort of journey as Leeds Hull in a way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it'll play out, but um, yeah, I'm not getting too excited because we've been here before. Um, right, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we've covered quite quite a lot there. So sorry, there hasn't been any videos this week. There'll be a review up on Sunday. I hope so. Touch wood. 99% sure there's a video on Sunday. Um, new camera, new software, possibly Saver DTL. Check out novape.com. Uh, K N O W vape dot com. Um, I think it's I think it's a really cool site, and that's why I've got involved. Um, I think it's a really cool site. Didn't need to get involved, but I think it's cool. So check it out. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching, and uh, loads of good stuff coming up. I think it's good stuff. Um, I'm still trying to be really picky. Um, got a new uh, squonky dual coil RDA that's cool. New squonker from Wismec. Um, a return to form for Eleaf, and um, and these massive monster tanks as well. Excited to excited to talk about those as well. So lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff I think coming up. Um, so yeah, stay tuned if you can. Uh, smash that like button. Smash, smash that like button. Just go bang. Hit that like button if you can. If you're watching on catch up, thank you for what. Thank you for watching. Sorry I wasn't live when you were available. Um, but uh, just have to do these things when I can. Um, so yeah, if you're watching on catch up, thanks for watching as well. Um, and uh, I'll see you all on Sunday. Touch wood. Oh, the Sunday fun day videos um, are on pause. I've got some new ideas that I'm trying to... They're going to take a little bit more effort, but I think they're really cool ideas, Sunday fun day. So they won't be on this Sunday or next Sunday, but then they're back. Um, and yeah, different spin on the fun day Sunday coming up soon. Stay tuned for that too. Um, the old f top five and things not going anywhere. I'll throw those in as well. But uh, yeah, little pause on the fun day Sundays while we we get ourselves together. Uh, but they're coming back, so stay tuned for those. Um, they they seem to go down quite well, so that's good. Uh, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.